The 555 timer IC is an integrated circuit that is used in variety of timer, delay, pulse generator and oscillator circuits. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to make an adjustable delay timer circuit using the 555 timer IC. This circuit can automatically turn on or off any circuit after a fixed duration. This timer circuit is useful when you need to power on or off any AC appliance after a predefined duration. You can use this circuit to automatically turn off a mobile charger after a certain period of time to avoid overcharging. Or you can turn on or off a light bulb after a certain period. The time delay of this circuit can be adjusted by using various combinations of resistors and capacitors. Watch this video for detailed step-by-step -step instructions on how to build the circuit and to know how this circuit works. This video is sponsored by PCBWay. PCBWay specializes in manufacturing of very high quality, low volume colored PCBs at a very budgetary price. In addition to standard PCBs, you can also order advanced PCBs, aluminium PCBs, rigid flex PCBs. They also provide PCB assembly and other related services which can meet your need to the greatest extent. PCBWay is currently running its sixth project design contest. There are lots of exciting prizes to be won. You can either submit an electronics or a mechanical project to take part in the contest. I can clearly see that a lot of enthusiasts have already submitted their amazing projects in the contest. So what are you waiting for? Go ahead and click the link in the description below and amaze us with your innovation. For this tutorial we need a 555 timer IC, a push button switch, a red and a green LED, two to 20 ohms current limiting resistors, one 10K resistor, a breadboard and few breadboard connectors, a five volt power supply, a 470 microfarad capacitor and few combinations of resistors or a potentiometer. Let's start by putting all the components together and let's understand how this circuit works. In the first example, I'm going to show you guys the on-off timer circuit with a fixed timing resistor and capacitor. The heart of this circuit is the 555 timer IC. Pin number 1 of the IC is connected to ground. By connecting pin number 6 and 7 of the 555 timer IC, we put the IC in monostable mode. In monostable mode, the output of the IC is stable in one state. And it will always return to this state after a certain period of time when it gets pushed out of that state. The output at pin number 3 of the 555 timer IC in monostable mode is generally low, indicated by the green LED. When you trigger the circuit using the push button switch, the output goes high, indicated by the red LED, for a certain period of time before it goes back to its low state. The time the circuit stays high is decided by the value of the resistor R1 and the capacitor C1. The higher the values, the longer they stay on. To adjust the timer duration on the fly, the timing resistor R1 can be replaced by a potentiometer. By changing the value of the resistance of the potentiometer, we can either increase or decrease the duration of the timer. Alright, now I'm going to explain how this circuit works with the help of an animation. When pin number 2 of the IC detects voltage less than one third of the supply voltage, it turns on the output on pin number 3. And when pin number 6 detects voltage more than two third of the supply voltage, it turns off the output. Whenever the output of the IC is in off state, the discharge pin pin 7 acts as a ground as it is internally grounded. This is how the trigger pin pin number 2 and the threshold pin pin number 6 of the 555 timer IC senses voltage and controls the output at pin number 3. When the circuit is powered on, the output is in off state. Hence, the discharge pin pin 7 will be internally grounded, discharging the capacitor. Pressing the push button switch activates the delay timer and the following sequence starts. Trick pin pin 2 gets grounded. Since the applied voltage at pin 2 is less than one third of the supply voltage, the output pin pin 3 turns on. And at the same time, the discharge pin pin 7 disconnects internally from zero volt. This causes the capacitor to charge via the the resistor or the potentiometer. Now the voltage across pin 6 starts increasing. As soon as the capacitor charges to two thirds of the supply voltage, pin 6 turns off the output. When the output turns off, pin 7 gets internally grounded, discharging the capacitor. The above steps are repeated each time you push the push button switch. The time period for which the capacitor charges from zero volt to two thirds of the supply voltage is the delay time. 
As discussed earlier, the time period for which the capacitor charges from 0 to 2 thirds of the supply voltage is the delay time. We can calculate this time using the formula T is equal to 1.1 times R times C, where T is the time period in seconds, R is the value of the timing resistor in ohms and C is the value of the capacitor in farad. In the previous example, we used a 33K resistor and a 470 microfarad capacitor, which gives us a delay period of 1.1 times 33,000 times 0 0.000470, which is equal to 17 seconds. To make things easy, I designed a PCB for this setup. So this is how my PCB looks like in 2D and 3D. You can either add a resistance or a potentiometer to the board to control the delay time. I have created two versions of this board. Version 1 without a relay module and version 2 with a relay module. Using the board with the relay module, you can control other DC circuits or AC appliances. For a quick reference, I have also added the delay period calculator on the board. Alright, now let's solder the components to the board. In this setup, I'm going to solder a potentiometer on the board and hence I will leave the resistor bit as is. So, let's start by soldering all the resistances to the board. Then let's solder the LED to the board, followed by the push button switch. After that, let's solder the IC base and the capacitor to the board. As discussed earlier, instead of the resistor, I'm soldering a potentiometer to the board. To finalize the setup, I'm soldering few male pin headers to the board. That's it. All done. The second version of the board with the relay module looks like this. For my demo, I'm going to use the board that has the relay module on it. Using this board, I can demo both the operation of the relay and the LEDs. Let's set the resistance of the potentiometer to a desired value and then let's do the quick math to see how long this circuit will stay on. Alright, now that we have all the values, let's start the timer on my mobile and press the push button switch both at the same time. Bingo! Mission accomplished. You can use the relay in either normally closed or normally open state in your project. This delay timer circuit can be used as a timer for any robotic project. Turning off mobile chargers to prevent overcharging, turning on or off lights automatically after a set duration, in auto power on off circuits using relays and more. The possibilities are endless. Thanks again for watching this video. I hope it helps you. If you want to support me, you can subscribe to my channel and watch my other videos. Thanks. See you again in my next video. Bye now.